Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those who, and those who, when tyranny strikes them, they retaliate in a just manner. And the retribution for an evil act is an evil one like it. But whoever pardons and makes reconciliation, his reward is with Allah. Indeed, he does not like the wrongdoers. And whoever retaliates after having been wronged, those have not upon them any cause for blame. There is no sin or blame on you, defending yourself. The cause is only against the one who has who wronged the people and tyrannize upon and tyrant uh, wrong people and tyrannize upon the earth without right. Those will have a painful punishment. And whoever is patient and forgives, indeed, that is matters worthy of praise. Subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, do not ever think that Allah is unaware of what the evil, uh, what the, um, um, evil people do. He only waits, awaits for the day that they will stare in horror. There's a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And bear patience. Brothers and sisters, bear patience. And this is my message. I don't want to keep it long, straight to the point. This is our message to our Palestinian brothers and sisters. We are with you. We support you. And we will be here. And subhanAllah, for those Muslim businesses who are selling Israeli dates, may Allah destroy your business. May Allah destroy your business. May Allah destroy your business. For those who are selling Israeli products, using Israeli Zionist products, uh, why? Because you want some profit and that's where you get from. Shame on you. Why? Because you can't go, uh, Palestine dates are a little bit expensive. Sh may Allah destroy your wealth this Ramadan. If you are more concerned about the money, about making profits, and you know these products are from Israel, yeah, and you try your best. We know a lot of stuff from Israel. We try our best to avoid using it. Yeah? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy your business. I mean, it's as simple as that. I'll make that dua, inshallah. We've done a video you can watch a couple of years ago. Me and uh, Musa, we went to um, Tesco's uh, and to uh, raise awareness to these blood dates. And we was faced with a few coward Zionists. Yeah? There are a few coward Zionists, subhanAllah. And this is exactly what's happening, brother and sister. This is my message to the Ummah, inshallah. Do not despair. Let them have their couple of minutes. Because Allah on the day of judgment is going to say, how long did you stay on earth? One day? Half a day? Let them have it. Nations have come before and destroyed. Millions. Thousands of years ago, guys. Time is flying. Before we know, we're all going to die. We're going to be finished. And we're going to be raised up. Have your five minutes of fun. Have your five minutes of oppression. And dhulm. Because you're going to have an eternal life in hell. Inshallah ta'ala. Brothers and sisters. Till next time, share this with your friends and family. YouTube might try to restrict this. Make sure you share this. Share it so people can hear it, inshallah. Because we know YouTube is going to try to restrict it, inshallah. And I'm trying my best to get it out there without them restricting it. Uh, leave that part to me, inshallah. But you guys do your job by sharing it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.